Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. Well, we've made it to the month of March, which means we need to find what's new at Disney Springs. Now, let's take a closer look. Well, the last time I was here, the sign was completely covered with a wall, but now it's open. M&M's is completely open. We're gonna head inside. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this. It smells so good in here. It smells just like M&M chocolate. Look at this, they have M&M Disney merchandise. That's really cool. You can get the Mickey Mouse colored M&M variation they have. I like it. Yeah, tons of Mickey Mouse M&M's merchandise. That's kind of cool. I never thought M&M's and Mickey would team up together, but they did. Check it out. The guys even got their, their Mickey ears on. <laughs> the size of the store is pretty impressive. Now these are my favorites, the peanut M&Ms. Those are the best. What's your favorite? Because whatever flavor you're looking for, pretty sure they have you covered here. Oh, look at that, all the different variations of the peanut M&Ms and the classic milk chocolate. They come in different colors. And then these are the different flavors you can get. Just give me that whole wall of peanuts. We were looking at different flavors that they have and one that stuck out was key lime. Yeah, did I miss the m and memo that they came out with key lime? Like I've never seen that flavor before. So. I love key lime pie, yeah. so I can only imagine. They have a sugar cookie right there. Oh my gosh. Cheesecake, what's that? Coffee nut, pretzel, the minis. I remember the minis. Mint, dark chocolate, crispy, caramel, Skittles. And the different kinds of mixes over here, like a rainbow mix and a color blast. So many different flavors. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. They have different little statues that you can, I think you keep your, your M&Ms in here, it's like a dispenser. Look at that, he's on the phone, and it will drop out a, an M&M. These are cool. I love this though, on the little coaster. Tons of photo ops in here as well. The classic red M&M. So uh, you think Mickey Mouse will like these uh, M&Ms? I don't know, I never met the guy. They have a timeline from when these guys started and the different variations and looks that they've gone through. That's crazy, oh man. That's what they looked like when I was a kid and then that's what they look like today. This one's kind of crazy. Look at that, 1954, almost unrecognizable. That was a lot of fun. It's a great addition to Disney Springs. Next time I'm gonna have to get some M&Ms. Trying to be good on my diet, you know, it's hard. But I gotta get a selfie with the dudes. Since they're here now, he's got a selfie too. Last time I was here, we saw the same thing of Beatrix, the restaurant market and coffee bar that's coming. Days are numbered to when that's gonna disappear, the view of the hot air balloon, because there'll be a building right there. So you'll only be able to see it when it's way up in the sky. Last time we were here at Everglazed Donuts in Cold Brew, this was not here. This is like George's size car. I feel like George could ride this and bring the donuts home. <laughs> That's so cool. I wonder what the significance is for this. But they're hard at work and they're making those delicious donuts. Last time we were here too, this was a madhouse. It's not so crazy today. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that. Like Reese's peanut butter cups, peanuts and peanut butter goodness, that is made for me right there. Holy cow. And I'm trying to resist the wall of temptation in there. Oh, leave me alone. That looks so good. As always, gonna stop into Disney style, see if there's any new merchandise in here. I feel like they're always changing stuff up, adding new stuff. Got some new variations of 
shirts and very colorful merchandise in this section here. There it is, the World of Mica exclusive shirt, still here, still going strong. But look at this, some of this stuff looks like straight out of the 90s, man. Abby, did you wear something like this when you were a kid? I feel like you did. I feel like I did. I, I actually have a picture of it on my Facebook of like almost this exact same outfit. Yeah. And I had the matching leggings too, you know. Of course. It's getting a little too warm to be wearing flannel. I do love flannel though. Very 90s. I like that. Dude, that's so cool. I feel like 101 Dalmatians don't get enough love. Like, Cruella gets a lot of love, but like, Pongo, those guys like never get love. What's this character's name? Comment below if you know. These are pretty cool pop sockets they have, and power line, phone case there. Pretty cool how this is showing up in the park now and people were doing this stuff on Etsy for forever, and Disney was like, we can do it too. And they have face masks, not like the face masks that you are required to wear. These are like, you know, beauty enhancing face masks. I'd do one. I'd probably do that one. Maleficent. Mistress of all evil. Abby, you can, you can do evil queen. Right next to Planet Hollywood, they have this place called Isaki. I think is how you pronounce it. But Abby's going to give this guy, she always talks about these. The sweet red bean stuffed pastry. And this is it. Comes with whipped cream and I think that's like a strawberry drizzle. Looks pretty cool for someone who doesn't like fish. <laughs> this is actually my favorite thing to get and I believe they have it during Flower and Garden so I'm going to laugh if they have it on Wednesday at Flower and Garden. It's on March 3rd, Wednesday. Um, but this is my favorite thing to get and I'm glad to know that I can get it any time in Disney Springs. Yeah, cool. Pretty awesome getting some of that sunset reflection, I guess you should say, against the hot air balloon and Maria and Enzo's. By the way, if you're looking for Enzo's hideaway, it's right down here. It's like a little hidden speakeasy tunnel bar. Pretty cool. The seating is, is under the bridge right there. I have a lot of people ask me where this is, and this is where it is. It's almost hidden. You didn't know it was here, now you do. Here's more information about it. Open nightly from five to 10, and you can scan this QR code at home. Hold your phone up there, turn your camera on. It'll take you to the link. You guys can check out the menu. Well, the line for Gideon's has not gotten any better. It's still very long for the return time and everything. Pretty wild. This place is super popular. This is like perfect weather to do the Amphicar. One day I'm gonna do this. One day. Always have to stop off and say hello to the orange bird. Okay, we've made it over towards the marketplace area of Disney Springs. Let's see what's happening over here. Well, this is new. Check that out. Sorcerer Mickey in Lego form right outside of the Lego store. This was Woody and Buzz on RC for the longest time, but now they've taken a classic scene from Fantasia and added Mickey. Did you guys know that the Sorcerer and Fantasia and the episode, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, the, the section of that film, his name is Yinsid. That's Disney spelled backwards. All right, let's see what's inside the World of Disney store that's at least new to me. They've got a ton of new merchandise for, I believe it's Raya and the Last Dragon. All kinds of new characters in plush form, t-shirts. They have a whole display here for this film. Looks very interesting. Lots of cool looking characters here. Look at that. Now I haven't seen this. This is kind of cool. Look at that. All themed to different Disney parks. They got one for Epcot here. What is this? Magic Kingdom. I'm not seeing Hollywood Studios though. Weird. No Hollywood Studios. Abby was saying that this used to be a park specific thing. Like you'd only get it inside the Disney parks. And now you can get it here at Disney Springs. I don't know how to say this. Is it Nuimos? Numos? They have Kermit and Miss Piggy. That's new. 
tons of people are into these things and buying all the different accessories and outfits that come with them. I just think it's cool that they have Kermit and Miss Piggy. Look at these. Aren't they cute? Wow, I haven't seen these yet. Sorcerer Mickey ears. Those are cool. Totally into that. Man, so much Sorcerer Mickey stuff coming out. And Disney Pixar Soul has its own section of merchandise too. All the characters from Soul and some t-shirts and other accessories. Look at that mug. It's cool. I have not seen this yet. I hear good things. I know it's on Disney Plus. I need to check it out. It seems like something I'd be into. And they do have some stuff from WandaVision, which is a very popular series on Disney Plus. I think this, this is about it. <laughs> the shirts right here. But hey, that's cool. They're paying attention to it. Now Up is obviously not new, but they do have new merchandise for Up, including a grape soda pen pillow here. Oh, that's cool. Russell plush. And you can get the Russell t-shirt here. I think I saw a Doug bag. Yeah, there he is. Little bag. The lounge fly bag for Doug. Oh, that's cool. A little advertisement for Dr. Pete's grape soda. Thanks to my lucky cast member friends over here for telling me exactly what's going on with this Stitch display. So this month, Stitch got into a little bit of a hunger fit and wanted some spaghetti and meatballs. So that's why he has spaghetti and meatballs all over the plush here. And they have a limited release magic band. See, it's this new thing they have called Stitch Crashes Disney. It's all different themed stuff for limited edition. Look at him with all that spaghetti and meatballs. I always think about that Little Richard cover of on top of spaghetti, all covered in cheese. You guys remember, that's throwback Disney Channel for you guys. But yeah, little Stitch limited release here. Kind of cool. And the Orange Burr's got a plush. It's a shoulder plush. So I think these are the ones that magnet, you know, you put on your, your shoulder. Like it has a little magnet underneath and it'll stay. It's kind of like Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. You can say, little Orange Bird on my shoulder. I think this is kind of interesting. You can see this is just a regular Mickey figure, and then this is the 2021 Mickey figure. Quite a little bit of a difference in the look of Mickey. What's up with his nose? It kind of blocks his, his face. See this? Like, I can still see his eyes, but this, it's like he's turning his nose up at me. Well, Beauty and the Beast is getting some major love in this section. Look at that. The stained glass. Wow. It has a little thing you can hang that up. And look at Lumi hair. He got like a, a new paint job, man. Looking pretty good. A mug and tea infuser here. And snow globe of the rose. Oh, there's a little throw blanket down here as well. Tons of Beauty and the Beast. Accessories, I guess you could call this. See, this is the Lumiere I know. Is, this gold's not as, as colorful as the other one. And you can get Mrs. Potts with Chip as well. Oh, hey. Cogsworth clock down here. Oh my gosh, it's Chip when he's blowing the bubbles. Look at that, that's so cool. Comes a little stirring spoon there and then there's a regular Chip right here. I believe there's more Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, look at that, little notebooks like the storybook, the rose cup, bell and beast mug, and the rose right here. And what were you showing me, Abby? A little chip uh, succulent. Oh my gosh, it is. Planter. It is, look at that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they went the extra mile and made a Beast and Bell apron. <laughs> Ooh, the lolly. Would you look at this? Oh, wow. No way, dude. Are you kidding me? Book. It's the actual Oh, okay. I was about to say. Just like so far, just like the film. Long ago, good King Richard of England. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Oh, there's little Robin Hood right there. This is so cool. I, I, I want. I know. Okay, right above Tinkerbell. Look right above Tinkerbell. It's Johnny Appleseed right there. So that's a throwback character. Right next to Shere Khan. Oh my gosh, there's so many throwback characters on this. Wow. That's gonna do it for World of Disney. Lots of pretty cool stuff in there. I like the new stuff. And I like the stuff that's, you know, normally always there. It's always great to see that stuff. If you wanna get in the mood for Disney, just go to a Disney store, honestly. It puts you right in the mood for the parks. 
here at the Marketplace Snacks for celebrating Women's History in honor of Women's History Month. Celebrate her story, that's what they're saying. They have a Mrs. Incredible float here. Look at the straw, that's cool. Oh, well, even has her, her little goggles on there. It's a Dole Whip strawberry and Dole Whip lemon with black cherry lemonade and a souvenir straw. Pretty incredible. You know what, why not? Let's go and see if there's anything new in the, the Marketplace Co-op. I love this door. Now this is new to me, but it says new arrival just in. All kinds of accessories for the kitchen. I like how they did this. Minimalist, minimalistic, you know, things that hint towards the character, you know, that it's trying to portray here. Like you have the colors of Goofy, obviously Minnie's bow, Pluto's dog chain there, Donald's bow. And it continues on with different things, but you can see how they kind of morphed the characters' faces on these mugs. I like it. I kind of like what they're doing here. Patterns, that's the word I'm looking for. They use patterns to portray the characters. It's interesting, I like it. Who wouldn't want to clean their dishes with the teacups? You could clean your teacup with a teacup sponge. Now this makes me super happy talking about Mary Blair's story with the Disney company. This wonderful lady brought so many things to life. Just to name a few on here, they're talking about Song of the South, Three Caballeros, Melody Time, obviously the one she's very well known for. It's a small world. Just look her up, Mary Blair. Incredible, incredible lady. I like how Disney put me on this Swiss Family Robinson treehouse print. That's kind of cool. They have a new dress design and handbag for Ariel. Look at this. It's got dingle hoppers on it, shell, some bubbles. It says Ariel right there. Signature and then this is the bag. It has a little shell on it. It's pretty cool. Got some new phone covers here. Hey, that's a Will Gay art piece right there. Pretty cool Disney artist and St. Patrick's Day, which is coming up very soon this month. Some new magic bands, look at that. Ireland, 2021, 30 magical years. That's cool. Got some Haunted Mansion madness here. Sorcerer Mickey, Baby Yoda, another Sorcerer Mickey. Love it. This is a Lego display of the Riviera Resort. Kind of cool. Can't believe DVC's been around for 30 years, man. That's it's pretty crazy. Little photo op here for the Riviera Resort. I always call it the Richie Rich Resort because doesn't that look like Richie Rich? I don't know. To me, it does. Well, you guys, we came, we saw, we found some new stuff here at Disney Springs. I like doing this once a month, heading out here to Disney Springs just to kind of keep up with what's going on and bringing you guys at home some of the newest things that this place has to offer so this was fun i enjoy doing this but i think our adventure for today has come to an end which means it's time to say goodbye if you enjoyed this episode click the thumbs up button the next time you're here at disney springs tell someone that world of micah sent you see you on the next episode until then stay weird goodbye